I've got an attitude of gratitude. My good friends Andy Andrews and Turan Green have something in common. They're both grateful for silence. Hi, I'm Andy Andrews. I have recently become very aware how grateful I am for silence, for the times of quiet that I can actually choose. Um, I'm kind of a loud person and I've spent my life talking and uh, being in loud places and it came to me not too long ago that uh, when I've needed answers in my life when I've really needed God to speak to me that has come in three major places one is when I woke up I just kind of wake up with an answer and it's like very odd and the other was in the shower uh, you know there's not any music in the shower, there's not anything about me, and uh, I'm not listening to anything else, I'm not reading anything else, and and so I've gotten some answers in the shower, and and the other is in the woods. I'm a, a hunter, a fisherman, and, and uh, God speaks to me in the woods, and it's been funny to me to have understood, sometimes people say, you know, I feel closer to God in the woods, hunting, than I do in church. And I'm kind of like, well, yeah, I, I guess that's true of me because it's like the only time I ever shut up. So I am thankful for silence. When I am silent and know that God is who he says he is, I hear his voice in those silent places. I'm thankful for you too, Mark. Hi, Mark. Today, I'm thankful for silence. I've had a busy weekend, and when we travel, it gets so loud and crazy and, you know, busy. And I come home, and I have four kids, well, five, including my husband. <laughs> and right now, they're either at work or at school, and I'm by myself at my house, and it's quiet. Except for that truck out there. I don't know why. Why did it have to get loud? I was just saying I love silence. Who was that? I've got an attitude of gratitude.